okay, we're out here with Reich and we're gonna walk through a wedge session with you. We're gonna do one of the wedges. We're not gonna do all the shots with you, but we're looking for five good quality shots. Um, we know the nine to not, or the 7.30 to 7.30 for him goes about six yards. The Mevo doesn't pick it up. That's why we have this uh, set up out here the way we do, all the way up to 40 yards. Um, you start counting the flag and stuff, it gets a little further. But, okay, so Reichen, show me what seven to seven looks like though. Perfect. And it's the same tempo, same timing. Our chips are like two to one and uh, we'll do a little tempo timer session. If you haven't watched that course, watch that if you need to, but we'll put that in here as well. And that's nine to nine. So what is 1030? Yep, perfect. 1030, good. And then what's 12? Good, and then a full shot, whatever your full shot swing is. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna do the, we're gonna skip the seven to seven. We already did that. That's the six yard. We got the Mevo running. It should be recording, and then we'll do a nine to nine shot. And we'll get five of them on here for you. So we're looking for five good shots. Nine to nine, good tempo, perfect. That popped off a little bit, said it went just under 20 yards. And it's exactly right, because it almost hit the stick. Nice. Now, the biggest thing for, I'll explain this to him because he's probably trying to already do it. He saw the first one where it landed. And now he's probably trying to recreate that same exact swing. But what I want you to think about in your head when you're doing this is the same tempo. Yeah. Um, we can get focused on targets and not tempo. And we'll be able to see that in the numbers when we start looking at the info. But I'm gonna put it on table view. That way I know that you're swinging the same speed and your tempo is all the same. And you're not trying to land it next to the second stick, right? Yeah. So yeah, 20 yards would be great but we wanna know what the actual nine to nine swing is without thinking about the target. We're just trying to swing the same speed every time. So those looked pretty good. I'm gonna delete these two. There you go, see how it went a little shorter, not thinking about the target. Yeah. Those two are awesome. A little poppy on you. Let's see. Two more swings. There you go. Good, just shy of 20 on that one. Then that one, so we'll delete that one. There we go, so that one's about 18. You're gonna have to scoot up a little bit because the Amiibo's not reading those ones. So we'll say 18 for that. Maybe 19. Okay, so we'll write 19 in your book. So we got six, we have 19, and now we'll do a 10:30, 10:30 shot. It's the same tempo, it's just a longer swing, right? So I'm gonna delete these. Actually, I'll just change the club for us. That way we can kind of keep track. And it says it's ready. Nice, good shot. That one's 22 carry. Club speed was 34. That's gonna be very similar. <laughs> 23 carry, club speed 35. So we're right in that perfect tempo range. And that club you actually didn't take up as high. So we're doing 10.30 to 10.30. There you go. Nice, that trajectory on that one was much better. Right about, I think we know the number on this one because <laughs> they're almost identical. That one was a little too fast. Yep, club speed was up five, three miles an hour on that one too. So it went just a little faster. So scoot up a little more. You gotta be, in, there you go, towards that divot. That way we can get a good reading on it. That was way faster. So, oh, actually the swing speed is about the same. You must've just hit it better. Yeah, I 28 on that. There you go. Okay, cool. I think we're, I think we're all set with that one. Now we'll do the 12 o'clock to 12 o'clock. Let me change this in here for everybody so they can see it. We're gonna delete that last one cause it was, and we'll get a good average. So your average on that was 20, 4.8, so we'll call it 25. Okay. So we have 
6, 18, 25, and now we're going to do a 12 o'clock shot and see how high we get. And let me change the uh, club real quick. Gap wedge on here is going to be your 12 o'clock swing. Okay. How'd that one feel? It felt really good. Okay. 34.4. A little farther on that one. Uh, you got to scoot up, buddy. To the right. Uh, up, I'm sorry, to the right. There you go. Okay, 35.7. Nice. All right, two more readable shots. A little floppy. Okay, we'll delete that one. Nice. Right, I think we're good on that one. 35. So the last one was 25. That one's 35. 10 yard difference. Same club. Now we'll do full. We're going to put this under the pitching wedge. And ready when you are. Nice smooth full. That's right, we are aimed, by the way. Okay. That one's better? Okay. 66 spin. Looks pretty good. Basically 57 on the first one, 60 on the second. <clears throat> right now we're just worried about numbers. We're not worried about fixing form or anything like that. We just want to get some good data to go off of. 61. I'm pretty sure this one's going to be about 60. What would you say your stock number is if, if you were trying to hit this club? What would it normally be? Like, like, uh, like a hard full swing? Like like whatever your full swing is. Um, carry or like carry. total distance? Carry. Like 63. Okay. Hit one more. Nice. A little shorter. So those ones, if you look at the screen, 56, basically it was 60 yards. So. Yeah. You remember what your edges were for each one? We're going to write it down in the book, but. Six. Six? Eighteen? Yeah. Eighteen, twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty-five. Forty. And sixty. Six. Oh, sixty. So big jump on that one, right? Yeah. So that's how you do a wedge matrix. Um, this is what you're going to do. Go through every single wedge, and then as you fill it out, you're really going to see all the boxes fill up, and then you can have multiple clubs for the same yardage, but they'll work differently for you when you're out there on the course. Some will run more, some will stop faster, some are gonna be a higher, a little lower, but that really just comes down to the shot for the given hole that you're on or what you need to use the shot for. Um, that's why we carry a few different wedges. We have some shot options. As you work through this, you're really gonna learn some stuff about yourself, uh, your ball contact, your positioning, and all of that will start really coming together as you're doing and creating this web matrix. So that's it i need you to get out there create your own web matrix download the the pdf down there print it out and have one for yourself put it on your bag put it in your uh in your yardage book and let's see how low you can go knowing all of your numbers and having that confidence this is the hard part cut. delete it cut and redo it lost my train of thought lost my train of thought Take one, 
whatever video this is.